please, please come, come have a seat. What up, everybody? I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. Uh, I'm feeling about medium well. If you haven't watched my previous vlogs, this is my third full day out of the hospital uh, here in Dubai. It's uh, been an absolute roller coaster. I am feeling uh, pretty close to normal. I was able to uh, walk around for about whew, two and a half hours yesterday. I've uh, been eating uh, regular food and uh, you know, haven't felt like I'm uh, gonna have a relapse or anything like that. So thankful for that. Uh, but here we are, we're about to leave this hotel. This is the Radisson Blue in Dara Creek. I think I'm pronouncing that right. That's, that's Dara Creek uh, out there. What's up, big mirror? Uh, you know, I, <laughs> my, uh, my hair has turned into one giant dreadlock, uh, pretty much. It was just one big piece of matted fabric uh, because I laid in the hospital bed for eight straight days. We're about to tear out of here. This was the Radisson Blue. This was way out of my budget. This was about $175 a night, uh, but I used credit card points to stay here. Maybe it was a little less than that, actually. I did get the, the buffet breakfast. Um, but a really nice place, chill place to recover, TV, tablet, and all this. But today, we've been invited uh, to stay at uh, what is apparently a looks, 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 luxurious uh, hotel. This guy got the artwork. Woo, look at this thing. A red roof. What do we got? Snack on. Oh, yeah, this is meant for me. He's got the advertisements on the back. Assalamu alaikum. Oh. Pop that tongue and let's go. Oh, okay, this this other driver pulled up and said he wants to be in the video. What's your name? Said. Said, nice to meet you. Where are you from, Said? Pakistan. Ah, oh, Pakistan, Pakistan, yeah. Zindabad. You from? Uh, United States. Yeah, but yeah. I, I just came from Pakistan. I just I just spent uh, 103 days in Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan, thank you, Zindabad. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Said. Ciao. I think over there, that's the uh, the tallest building in the world, the Wiz Khalifa. Whoa, truly the city of the future. I walked around last night and uh, saw a little bit of the city at night and really, really cool. Okay, we have arrived at the H. Usually there's someone that comes out and takes my bags for me, but okay, I guess not today. Oh wow, looks like they're already decorating for Christmas in here too. Whoa. Hotel of the future. Wow, look at this, guys. Absolutely mad. We got another Christmas tree. We got like a dining area here. Wow. Oh, and our friend here is serving up, this is this is Arabic coffee, right? That's correct. What's your name? Mansi. Mansi, nice to meet you. Thank this you. This is gonna be my first ever cup of Arabic coffee, I think. I've never had it here before. I haven't had coffee uh, pretty much since I, I got sick, so, so very hope excited. So enjoy it. Ooh, it smells like very it. nice, yeah. That's, I hope you will enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you. Monsi. All right, you. first sip. Here we go. Thank you. You want some dates so you can uh, enjoy with it? A date, yeah. Thank I would you. love a date. Yes, please. One of my one of my favorite fruits. Thank you, you kindly. Enjoy. Ooh, Thank very you. lovely. Um. Here we go. All the way to the 24th floor. 24th floor. Here we go. 2412. This way. <gasps> Is this it? Oh my gosh, what is, what? Oh, look at these doors. 24, 12. All right, and here we go. What? <laughs> look at this place. Look at this view. Look at my shoes off. What? Y'all, I got a living room. I got a living room. What is this, a chairman's desk? This is, this is like an office. Y'all, get out of town. Get out of town, get out of town. Look at this view. Oh my, oh my stars. Is this for real? Look at these gorgeous lamps. Look at this, I, I, I should have brought 15 of my best friends here. Whoa, we got swagged out purple couches. No way. No, well, dear Mr. Brent Tim, we hope you have a pleasant stay, and if there's anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable, please feel free to contact us. I uh, have never stayed 
anywhere like this in my life. Okay, there it is. Can can y'all see that? It is there. There's there's the Wiz Khalifa again. Got a great view of that. This crazy courtyard down here with these bushes, these mega designs. We got some like little pool over there. Y'all, Dubai, just truly the city of the future. Something out of a science fiction novel. I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna leave the room. I just want to stare and watch life go by. All this window, look at this, a space age lamp over here. We got TV, who cares about TV? Yo, this place just on those mega, mega, mega swag levels. Uh, the guy came to drop off my bags and he told me we got the complimentary tea. We got, that ain't complimentary. And uh, those, uh, those are not for the kiddos and we will not be drinking any of those. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Are all the lights on in here? Seems a little, little dim. Uh, two, two complimentary water bottles. Thank you so much. Uh, a little coffee and tea complimentary. And then of course, uh, the mini bar. We will not be opening that thing because we will go broke. Hotel was nice enough to hook up a lot of things, but the mini bar ain't free, baby. Okay, let's wander in to, look at these floors. These are like reddish brown. Brand new. A uh, carpet too with all the stars on it. Marble, marble coffee table. Too nice for me, folks. Too too fancy for me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we go in the bedroom, the bathroom might be. We might have multiple bathrooms. I'm not sure. This is like the guest bathroom. Oh, look at what? No way. No way. <gasps> they've literally rolled out the red carpet. Well, they've rolled out the red roses. Oh my God. Welcome in rose petals. And they got these like, what are those like piggies? Tall piggies? No, this is, this is a Muslim country. Those wouldn't be piggies. Tall doggies? Some sort of tall creature. Very cute tall creatures. Oh my gosh, they got these like leaves for eyes. No way, 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 no way. This is the warmest welcome I've ever had at a hotel. Ultra, ultra luxe life. Look at this, got this like stone engraving on top of the bed. I think we got a definitely a king size bed we're working with here. Ooh, more complimentary bottles of water on the side. Another television. More, more, more dear Mr. Brent Tim. This other like chill lounge area. If I get tired of lounging out there, I can come and lounge in here. I can lounge on this lounger. I can lounge on that lounger. And then, uh, oh, these windows appear to be a little more clean. Wow. Again, the view of views. And then we've got like this changing room here, which is a little ironing board. It's where all my bags are. As you can see, I had to pull out the extra GoPro battery. Oh, we got that robe life. And then we got these uh, slippers. Ooh, okay. And I, I knew there had to be, what? Two sinks? Oh, whoa. Okay, we got two toilets? Well, I, I, whatever you call that thing. There's a lot of attachments on that. I've never seen a toilet with all those. And then we got the classic toilet. This is a, a very popular picture <laughs> in, uh, in, the, in the bathrooms here in Dubai, apparently. No way, no way, look at this place. What do we got here? We got the vanity kit, some uh, Q-tips, and a little, a, um, like a cotton swab, moisturizer, moisturizer, shaving kit, shaving kit, dental kit, dental kit, comb. They must have thought I was coming with like a, a partner. Riding solo. I'm ri oh, no way. Okay, this whole thing is the shower. Look at that. We got the, the, the rainforest type shower deal. We got the handheld shower deal. We got what maybe some type of not sure if it's jacuzzi style or what. <gasps> they even gave us exfoliating loofah pads. Get out of town, y'all. I think we should probably go uh, take a little tour around and check out this pool. Okay, quick detour before we hit the pool. We got the health club. Uh, still definitely don't have like the uh, physical uh, capability to, uh, to work out. Definitely gonna maybe put that off for another week and. Let, uh, let the body fully heal before we start hitting the weights and start hitting the gym again, but super nice. State of the art, everything brand brand new. Man, 
Just luxury. Oh, they even got the Pelotonians over here. Okay. Very nice lady. Uh, told me how to get to the pool in the elevator. I didn't want to put her on camera because she was in a robe and she looked like she was relaxing. So we got to respect everybody. Okay. Uh, safety rules. Don't care. Oh, whoa. What is going on here? Glow. All right, step it out. Oh, dude, we got we got the boxing. We got the, the heavyweight bag, the punching bag. We got the speed bag. Oh, I might have to take that back. I might have to. I have to get a couple couple rounds in. Got to get tough after losing uh, losing all this weight and muscle mass. Okay, so this is the pool. Digging it, digging it. The nice lady told me that. Uh, tilt that hair back. Uh, the nice lady told me that it's shady, so we're not going to get a lot of sun here. I'm a little disappointed by that, just because I'm, I'm I need the sun to heal me. Try to get tan, but yeah, here's here's the pool. Nice, very fancy. We got chill area over here. We got a little shower action. Get all that dirt and grime off before you hop in and pollute the water. Some cool lounger chairs to lounge on and lay back on. Dang, this is a vibe. Okay, uh, unexpected. Uh, we're gonna go. We're, well, we knew we were getting a beard trim, but we're also gonna get the hair cut just a little bit to hopefully get all these tangles out. Uh, let's say some prayers that it looks okay, everybody. Okay, we've got a very nice team of salon professionals. Uh, one guy's from uh, Egypt, one guy's from Syria. Uh, very, very fancy, nice place here. That was the most painful hair experience of my life. Okay, we're currently getting some sort of uh, hair treatment done. Uh, they said it involved caviar. Uh, and it would prevent uh, a dandruff. Never had dandruff, but uh, past couple months have really taken a toll on my hair. Never had this thing done. I feel like I'm at a haunted house or something. Okay. Okay. How do we look? I didn't want to say too much while I was in there, but that was the most painful, miserable, haircutting experience of my life. Probably my fault for showing up with so many tangles, but they like uh, untangled it dry. Oh my God, my, my head hurts so bad. Yanking, 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 yanking. How do I get out of here now? Zero looks good to me. Uh, the total for the haircut and the beard trim, and then they, was supposed to be 300 dirhams which would have been like 80 bucks but then they went ahead and like charged me 50 dirham which is about 15 bucks for the brushing like no, no one said no one said the brushing was extra whatever finally got the tangles out please please come come have a seat i saved you a chair here at the eat and meat we got a little mushroom truffle soup and then they brought us some bread, you already know we're going to be dipping the bread in the mushroom soup, no questions asked. I also ordered a little watermelon juice, that's coming in just a bit. We just dropped our bun off at the mushroom pool to go for a little soak, uh, but here we go, let's try our first little sip of this, pow. Mm. Well, very hot, well, very hot, but uh, ooh, very truffly, very mushroomy, um, nice and thick, a rich, savory flavor, not too salty. I like it. Haven't had a tasty mushroom soup in a while. That's good. We'll definitely get it again. The Caesar salad has arrived. Uh, it said homemade Caesar dressing. Love that word, homemade. And a uh, nice big piece of iceberg lettuce pow. Or is it romaine? I think it's romaine in a Caesar salad. I don't know. Mm. Not the Caesar flavor I expected. It's a little fishy, a little fishy. It's very light. And there's just that overwhelming, like almost anchovy flavor. I'm not getting that kind of like creaminess that usually accompanies uh, a Caesar dressing. It's okay. Okay, main event, main course, showtime. We went with the sea bass. One of my favorite pieces of seafood in the entire world. We've got this saucy sauce. We're gonna pour all over it and then they offered me french fries. I was craving french fries. The doctor said avoid fried foods. So I was like, Ugh, okay, I'm gonna wait a couple days. So no french fries. Instead, we got the steamed vegetables. We're not even gonna waste our breath. 
doing a steamed vegetable review because I'm already sure you know how they are. All right, let's just, let's get the sea bass just a super creamy roll. All right, a little too creamy. Pour that on there. Thick, rich cream. Let's dig in. Bone apple teeth. And if you made it this far, make sure to stay tuned in the end because we're going to chow down on dessert and uh, then we're going to go up to the room and take uh, one final look at what it looks like at night here and, and say goodbye to everybody. Pow. <laughs> Proper sea bass. Tender filet. Really, really nice flavor to it. Crispy skin on the outside, not too crispy though. The cream sauce, very, very light. Gives it this nice kind of like mm, milky slash capery slash creamy element to it. Really, really like it. It's so good. I'm, I'm immediately going back in. Oh, this the skin is peeling right off there. I'm going back in for bite number two, pal. Buttery, delicious sea bass. Knocked it out of the park. Okay, grand finale. This is the Om Ali. Never had a dessert like this. I believe it's an Egyptian dessert. Dessert, dessert. It's kind of like a bread pudding. So I've got some pistachios in there. They told me it was very hot, so I uh, was supposed to let it cool down, but now I'm worried that I let it cool down too much. <laughs> Classic, am I right? Pow. Mmm. Oh no. Oh. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's like a pudding. Kind of like a porridge. It's a uh, sweet, milky, creamy. Mm. I like it. I really, really like it. Hits the spot, warms the belly. Not overly sweet. Yeah, it's uh, it's not. It doesn't have like the crispy bits that like a lot of bread pudding has. Mmm. Pistachios give it a nice crunch. I dig it. I would definitely order this again. Umali. Mmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And let's say goodbye to the city on night one here at the H Hotel uh, in Dubai. As always, thank you so much for coming along with me for the beard trim, for the uh, torturous uh, hair procedure we had done, uh, for all the good food we ate today, and uh, for, for checking out the room as well. Uh, honestly don't know what's going to happen in the next few days here with the Dubai vlogs. I'm still like very emotionally and, and physically just exhausted um, from being in the hospital. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I just, I just don't have that like spark back yet. But hopefully I will. Uh, for now I'm just going to stare out uh, into space. Well, I suppose it's impossible to see a star <laughs> in, uh, in Dubai with all this light pollution. But yeah, just going to stare out here. And uh, enjoy life, as always, everybody. Thank you so much uh, for joining. Whoa! That was a big step. Thank you so much for joining. My name's Brand Tim from the H Hotel here in Dubai in the UAE. And I'm saying ciao for now.